Good morning. This is Larry McMillan <clears throat> with a market update on Monday, August 17th, uh, before the market opens. <clears throat> so last week, the market ran into a little resistance at the all-time highs uh, around, around 33.90. And that's not too unusual if you think about it. I mean, people that didn't sell now view this as a chance perhaps to sell now that they've gotten back to even. <clears throat> but our indicators are still positive, so we're not really viewing this as a uh, serious problem, at least not yet. Uh, there's support below here at 33.25, which is essentially last week's low. Then below that at 32.80, and then the important support at 3200. So if 3200 was taken out, uh, that would be uh, much more negative. <clears throat> but for now, any small correction off these levels would just be more in the context of, of a normal uh, bull market. We've seen this along the way, uh, tries to make new relative highs, bumps into a little resistance, takes a week or so to break through, and then it eventually breaks through on the upside. Um, meanwhile, there is a modified Bollinger Band sell signal setting up. It has not been confirmed yet, though. The equity-only put cover ratios remain at extremely low levels. Uh, the weighted ratio is making new relative lows still almost every day. The standard ratio has begun to edge higher, which does technically put it on a sell signal. But edging higher is not the same as trending higher. And uh, we expect to see these things trend sharply higher when the, when the actual sell signal uh, comes into being. Market breadth has been pretty positive, uh, even though we had a couple of minor negative days last week. Both breadth oscillators are still on buy signals. And the cumulative uh, indicators that we talked about before are also still both on buy signals. <clears throat> Volatility continues to be uh, a bullish area for stocks, although it too is getting stretched, and that's in terms of realized volatility. The 20-day uh, historical volatility of SPX is down to 11 now. That's very low, but still not terribly low. If it gets down to 8, and then we'd have a, a, an extremely overbought situation, that would probably have some negative ramifications later on. But for right now, it's just low, not dangerously low. Meanwhile, VIX is much higher. It's around 22, and the VIX futures are even higher than that. So... Uh, there's a big uh, discrepancy between realized volatility, which is now around 11, and let's say the October futures, which are October VIX futures, which are the most expensive ones, which are around uh, 26. So there's a 15 point differential there. That's uh, one of the largest in history. I'm not sure it means anything as far as market direction goes, but the only other time it was higher was in late January 2009. And, of course, that was uh, the beginning of the final down leg of that uh, bear market at that time. I'm not, I'm not saying that's, uh, you know, a one event indicator. It's not really an indicator. <clears throat> um, so the uh, the fact that the October futures are very expensive, those, of course, based on the fact that the election um, is coming up and that's going to be producing some volatile things. Also, August and September are seasonally negative months. So. There's that as well. So the whole thing is still, um, you know, a bit in the air, but we don't have sell signals. And that's uh, the most important thing that I can say at this time. So we're remaining bullish uh, and we will trade sell signals if they're confirmed. For example, this upcoming modified Bollinger Band sell signal, if it does confirm. Um, <clears throat> but we're not necessarily uh, looking to get short the market in a big way unless SPX were to break below 3200. Uh, we had a great seminar on uh, Saturday We're discussing option modeling. If you missed that, it will be available uh, for purchase as a recording. And, um, you know, I, vis I uh, invite you to visit our website, optionstrategist.com. There's a lot of uh, interesting things there. And, of course, uh, you can subscribe to our newsletters, which are still having a terrific year. So thanks for watching and good luck trading.